Well, my mom really made the booty belt. Being raised by a single mother, I was always comfortable around women, so becoming primarily a woman's fitness trainer was really natural for me. My mother molded me into what I am today. I remember her strength, ambition, and willingness to sacrifice so much to keep food on the table. I remember one time we were on the city bus with bags of groceries and it was packed. I was so embarrassed for her. That day, I promised myself I would do anything to change her life. Okay, let's fast forward. <laughs> In 2004, I got a personal training job with a huge fitness franchise in Portland, Oregon, and all my clients were women. I'm working all day, but making only $8 an hour. I'll never forget when the CEO of the company came in on the tour, and everybody was just in awe of this man. My boss brings up how much money he was worth, and I just gasped for air. After hearing that, I saved every paycheck, borrowed money from some clients, and started my own fitness business, Extreme Training. My first month of business, I made $18,000 and I haven't looked back since. My first location was 700 square feet and my reputation around town was getting pretty big. The next logical step was to move to my second location, which was almost three times the size. This was a major upgrade for me and I was scared to death, but I couldn't show it, you know. I bought more equipment, hired five personal trainers. I'm giving my mom money. Man, I was flying high. It was the Dominic Banks show, and then 2008 hit. Boom, the Great Recession. Wow. I'm the definition of a small business owner. And keep in mind, my total overhead went from $4,000 a month to $10,000. I started losing everything. It seemed like businesses all around me were closing down every day. One of my clients helped me find my third location, thank God. It was 3,000 square feet. It needed some work, but the rent was half the price. I got it all up and running, but all these hard times had taken a toll on my swag. I was burnt out and my confidence was just gone. My clients started asking questions. I couldn't even fake it anymore. Dominic Banks is suffering from full-blown depression. I couldn't believe it, but the fighter in me wasn't going for all that. My brain kicked into overdrive, thinking of ways to get back on top. Now, this story is strange, I admit. But for a month straight, my life was like that movie, Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. I was going nuts, so I started to build it, whatever it was. Okay, so follow me. This story gets a little crazy, but that's an understatement. Three weeks later, I meet this girl, Naya Moore. <laughs> Hurricane Naya. We both a little crazy, so we click really fast. Long story short, she's on the real world Portland, and she wants me to train her on the show. A lot of crazy things happen, as you can imagine, and the rest is history. She stays a kicking in Portland for a while and she's just like, damn, that booty belt thing is brilliant. Let's do something with it. I wasn't taking her seriously, but I'm like, why not, right? She flies back and I go into overdrive. I start pulling all my resources together, crossing my T's, dotting my I's, and things are coming together pretty good. During this whole process, I remember watching this story about Phil Knight. The man started this company using like a waffle line or something. And he's from Oregon, so I was like, if he can start a monster company like Nike from that, then I have no excuses. His drive and vision motivated me. So now he comes back to Portland to do some promos with the real world and we shoot the booty belt commercial and here we are. The booty belt is way more than a woman's fitness device. It's a story about how strong the human spirit is when faced with adversity. It's my way of paying homage to my mom and all the women out there. Without your love, strength and guidance, none of this would be possible. I salute you ladies and thank you from the bottom of my heart. And that is the story of the booty belt. I did it again!